Kuhn Cassis IFL TV MTK Global in Manchester for the MTK Manchester show here at the Victoria Warehouse. I'm joined by Tahir Iqbal. Have I pronounced your name yeah, right? Yeah, no, that's right. Did I pronounce it right? No, no, Tahir Iqbal. Tahir you got Iqbal. it right. I got it right. Uh, yeah, impressive performance today over a tough MJ Hall. Uh, uh, yeah. How did you kind of assess that performance? I thought it was alright to be honest. I'm a little disappointed. I felt like I could get him out of there. But uh, I was trying to load him up a bit too much. I think if I took my time a bit, I could have got him out of there. But I have fought him before. Uh, this time I did one better. I did put him down, but still disappointed I should have took him out. Mm. But I mean, aside, there's plenty of uh, positive take from the night. Obviously, a few more rounds in the bank and experience-wise, you're sort of still at an early stage. No, no, definitely. And uh, even this week, to be honest, it's been a bit hectic. I've been having opponents pull out and stuff like that. So, you know, but Oliver's told me it's part of the game, you know what I mean? You're learning and it's going to happen. And I guess, to be honest, I am learning as it's going on. It's a good experience. Definitely. When did you turn pro? Uh, last year. Last year. Last year, but yeah, I'm just trying to stay as active as I can, to be honest. Is that your third or fourth? Fourth fight. Fourth fight, yeah, okay. Fourth fight in a year, so. Uh, maybe get another one in this year, but to yeah. be honest, I don't know. Are you at the correct weight for you at the moment? Yeah, I'm obviously fighting a few pounds heavier, but I'm making the weight uh, easy, you know. What's, uh, what's the plans for 2019, or are you going to look to fight before the end of the year? I hope so. If, if something comes up, I, you know, I'm ready for it. I'm always, I always stay in the gym, I'm always training, but uh, I don't know. I might, I might even take a bit of time off you know, and just do a bit of other stuff as well, you know, working on strength and conditioning, but uh, I'll just see how that thing goes. Definitely, definitely. And hopefully, like I said, a few more wins under your belt, then you could have a big 2019. Yeah, I hope so. I hope so. Okay. Let me get your opinion on a fight here in Manchester tomorrow night. I'm sure a lot of people are tuning into. To be honest, Bellew is the, you know, he is from the UK, so you should support your own lads, but uh, that U6 is a beast, you know, and I don't, I don't, to be honest, I don't see Bellew winning at all. Okay. It's just going to be a masterclass, I think. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Everyone's got their opinion about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's a, it's a tough, tall task for, for Tony Bellew, but I suppose people have written Bellew off in the past before. When he's yeah, yeah, that's... Off. But this is, this is a kind of a, a, a different kind of fish. Yeah, yeah, I think, to be honest... To be the best, you got to beat the best, and he is fighting the best, to be honest, but I don't know, I don't see it happening. I've, I've seen Usyk from the amateurs, and I've studied him and everything, but he's just something else. Mm. Absolutely. All right, well, listen, uh, hopefully you get a fight date soon. Have you got anything else you'd like to add to here? Uh, no, just thanks to my sponsors, GT. Cool. And uh, thanks to all the lads that showed up. No problem. Great support here for you today yes. as well. Cheers, yeah. I, well, it's, it's always a good turnout. You know, I would like to get behind me, and, you know, I appreciate it every time. No problem. Hopefully we'll catch up with you again soon. Yeah, hopefully. Top man. Cheers.